This channel is about fun and sharing everything I know. It's my fashion and beauty world. <laughs> and yes, yeah, you're invited too. Welcome back to Fumi Fashion and Beauty Thailand. Yes, we are in the beautiful country of Thailand and I am going to be filming some exciting episodes from this wonderful country. Naturally, before I start, I thought to myself, self, why don't you let your viewers know a little bit about Thailand for those that have never been here and for those that would be very much interested in what Thailand is all about. Before I start, I am in Thailand with my partner in crime, wonderful Ula. Ula, say hello. Hello. <laughs> Thailand is a country in Asia, and it's a population of 65 million strong. It's a principality with the king and the queen, and the king actually is the longest reigning king in the world. He has sat on his throne for over 65 years. Yes, even longer than the Queen Elizabeth. Bangkok is the capital of Thailand. Bangkok is like New York. It's a rush, 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 city, city. Everybody's rushing somewhere, going somewhere. It's exciting, it's fun. And we went to the Golden Palace. That is where the royal family resides. Bangkok is the fourth capital of Thailand, meaning that it has been overthrown four times with various kings. Because when you go to the palace, it's compiled with four different types of buildings that each king, when in reign, built. And the last king decided to keep all of the buildings. Of course, his are bigger than the former kings, but it is exciting and it is beautiful to see.
people of Thailand are Buddhists. 95% of them are Buddhists. And you will see Buddhas everywhere. And the most exciting of them all is the resting Buddha, also known as the reclining Buddha or the sleeping Buddha. Behind the reclining Buddha, they have, I think, 150 bronze bowls. And there you buy some coins and you wish good luck in all 103 bowls. In Thailand, you do not shake hands. Isn't that interesting? No. You put your hands together and you bow. And let me tell you, there are three ways of greeting. For your own colleague, your mate, you put your hand together and you put it to your chest and then you bow. And that is how you say hello to your mates, to your elders like your mothers, your uncles, people of position. You raise your hand higher, right to your chin, and then you bow. And of course to the king, you put your hand right to the nose and you bow. And that is how they greet each other in Thailand. So what do we have as a currency? We have the bat. The bat is the currency that they use here in Thailand. And let me just give you a, um, a comparison. You have 35 baht to one dollar, and you have 50 baht to one pound. The elephant is the symbol of Thailand, which I love so very, very, very much. And you will see them in crafts, in memorabilia, all over the city, Bangkok. I love Thai food. I've loved Thai food for years. And you cannot imagine the exotic fruits and the amazing vegetables that they have that is not to the north. Which I'll also do a health and fitness Thai style. Yes, we're going to try some Thai food and we're also going to try some yoga. We're going to have fun, fun, fun. We also have all kinds of trees bearing fruits, which are mangoes, bananas, and coconuts. I could not resist the coconuts, my friends, when I tell you. When they knock down the coconuts, they make out of the coconuts everything. There's nothing spared out of the coconut, but they're able to extract sugar as well as coconut oil. Coconut oil is one of the most precious oils that you will ever use on your skin. It's a healing oil for scars, for um, all kinds of imperfections, pimples. It just fades away. It is amazing. So, of course, I bought two bottles. Anybody that wants any of my coconut oil, leave a message or a comment below and I will bring you some coconut oil. Fantastic. market. What is a floating market? Ladies, I did not know until I went there with my own eyes and it is very much a village. It is about an hour, hour and a half outside Bangkok. When you go to the floating market, you will see all kinds of traders and basically they trade on the river. They've got a running river right through the village and they've taken full advantage of it. And so they cook onto these boats and they serve the tourists all kinds from pancakes from uh, coconuts from fruits from ice cream you name it just look at all of the pictures that i'm putting up
and then of course they have arts and crafts and their craftsmanship is spectacular. It is absolutely spectacular. They take a lot of pride in their culture and they craft so much woven into the arts and crafts that they sell to us. Amazing. We spent all day there and as you can see what am I have on my shoulders are sleek and to think that I'm scared of cockroaches. <laughs> you should have seen Ula's face. <laughs> Just a simple top, cotton white top, because of the heat, and then of course drawstring trousers. And you can see it's very much the theme of a, a crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Am, am I saying it right? I don't know. But look at how gorgeous it is. And I thought, you know what? While in Rome, do as the Romans do. And this is what I have in presentation for you for the first episode. This is, after all, Fumi Fashion and Beauty. The beauty, amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. They've got huge malls. And one of the most popular uh, malls is called, Ula, what's it called again? MBK. The MBK. Central World. Central World, which I went to. And then, uh, when we went to Central World, we went Sun. and Zen. And then they have the Sea and Square as well. Those are some of the big malls. Just think Bloomingdale's. Uh, think uh, Macy's. Uh, for those of you in London, think um, what's what's the other one by Shepherd's Bush? Whitely Westfield. Westfield Mall. Huge, huge malls. Wow. Their number one beauty product is skincare. They don't mess with that skincare. What I noticed was that they had a lot of Chiseldu. They had Shuemura. All the Asian beauty brands are humongous. And when I say humongous. They have every single product that you can think of that I've never seen in London, that I've never seen in New York, that I've never seen in LA. They have them all here. And I was very, very impressed because I've been looking for the Laura Messier for their loose powder and for their um, uh, lightning powder, under eye lightning powder. I didn't find it in London, sold out. They had it here. Like I said, they are big on skincare. They are huge on making sure that the skin is absolutely flawless and they love color. They love aqua eyeshadows, they love oranges, they love pinks. So that is in the beauty. Their fashion, Chanel Addicts. Just say Chanel and you're good to go. They have a humongous Chanel boutique in Bangkok. Amazing. Another thing about shopping, oh, the silk. If I have ever seen beautiful silk, never like I have seen here in Thailand. You guys come here with empty suitcases, I kid you not. Like the Gambia, my mother's country, these guys know how to sew blindfolded. They can sew anything and everything. Again, Ula was telling me that as a matter of fact, some of them even travel to different countries. They come to Norway and they set up their little store for the companies and they make their suits. And I am not surprised because you should see what they do here. They have Sephora here as well. And they've got all kinds of beautiful, beautiful cosmetics that are, are very unfamiliar to me. It is really wonderful to see. I wanted to make a small introduction to you and to show you the beautiful Thailand. And of course, I'm sweating, I'm hot, so I have to go. So you guys stay tuned for the next three weeks or so because I'm gonna give it all to you, my darlings, all right? So Kapung Ka is thank you in Thai. And for ladies, you say Kapung Ka. And then for men, you say Kapung Kap. That's right, yes. And to my new friends that I have met here in Thailand, 
Thank you so very much for your hospitality that you have shown me. Kapunka. Ula, you have to say Kapunka. Kapunka. Mwa. Fantastic. Ah, uh, Ula, who do you think you are? 